Awesome motorcycle. I hate it because it reminds me of Trans Am guy. Compared to Cleveland. Yeah, beautiful. They don't want to. They don't want to have friendly conversation. Here, Here comes my Max Wrist moment again. Hey everybody, it's your good buddy 650E here. Another great, fantastic, huge ride today with all of your dream bikes in one location today. I'm on my RSV4 RF, an awesome, awesome motorcycle. Can't say enough great things about it, but Donnie's gonna be riding my BMW HP4, also a very awesome motorcycle. We got Steve here from Detroit. He's on his Pinagalli Anniversary. -o. And then Steve brought his 2016 S1000 for Stunnerway to ride because Stunnerway recently sold his Gixxer 1000 and placed an order. Hi, Steve. Hi. Yeah, he placed an order for a 2017 Gixxer. But look at all these other great bikes we have. We have Punisher with his uh, iconic Punisher icon there uh, from the filthy streets of Texas, Mr. Asshole by Nature's Crew. We got my good buddy. I don't know who the hell that guy is, uh, but he has an R1M. Actually, that's just an R1. Kyle. Kyle, okay. Jixxer 1000, another R1, uh, 2014 S1000 stock that I'm going to slay fillet and turn to a bowl of marmalade. We, of course, have Mustang Dame, the king of us all. Everyone must salute him uh, in unison on his uh, H2. And then we got Salah with his Trans Am Guy 73 Special Edition S1000 double R, -R, 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 -R with the horsepower adding blue hoses that are known to add at least seven horsepower to the motorcycle, I kid you not. BST carbon fiber wheels, awesome motorcycle. I hate it because it reminds me of Trans Am guy. Then we have, uh, look who joined us tonight. We had to pry this guy with crowbars out onto the streets. R1 Kelly with his R1 Kelly Special Edition Prince R1 Kelly shirts, and he's out on his R1M. And he's suited, booted, ready to go. Punisher is going to punish him. Junkyard Jim is angry as usual. We call him Angry Thug. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. Now, Stunderway, did you bring out your, uh, um, what word am I looking for? I want, I, I don't want to say prehistoric. Uh, classic, vintage uh, Marlboro jacket, just so that it can match Steve's uh, S1000. Yeah, that was a nice touch. Now, what type of gear are you going to get next year for your black and blue Jixxer 1000? All new Suzuki gear next year. Look at that. He's, he's going to be a beast on that Jigster. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm, I'm actually uh, hoping that he'll grant me the same thing I've granted him and allow me to ride it. Oh, yeah. He'll let everybody ride it, right? Everybody gets to ride your Jigster next year, huh?
Punisher beat Tech Snipe. Congratulations. No, I'm not satisfied. Why is that? You beat me. My quick my shift is acting up. Okay. That's why, like, with the law both times, in third gear, third and fourth gear, it won't shift. It won't, it won't shift. Well, you beat me. So, on my RSV4RF. Good race. Yeah, that was a good race. I beat the other one. It was a good race, though. Yeah. We just had a series of fantastic races here, and we determined that my RSV4RF lost to my good buddy, Mr. Goodnight, on his R1M, and uh, it also lost to Kyle on his R1 as well, and now he's making foul gestures, yes. But uh, there was also some more excellent races. Uh, Slim Thug is here. Did you beat anybody, Thug? Uh, yeah, I lined up behind, I think, him and Stunner with fucking Texie, and uh, Texie's doors got blown backwards. Wow, Texie, if you guys don't know, is Mr. Goodnight on his R1M, lost to Slim Thug on his Hayabusa. We've got some fantastic bikes here, but we're not done. We're going to head out to our destination. Just about every bike is represented here, except for the ZX-10. And we had a buddy that was supposed to ride a ZX-10 with us today, but he didn't show. He never shows. So Punisher beat an R1 on my RSV for RF. Let's go. Got him. So R1 Kelly put Salah, who weighs 139 pounds, on his R1M to race me on my HP4 and I destroyed him. R1 Kelly wasn't man enough to race me himself. He had to try to get a lighter jockey and he still lost. Wow. Wow, Punisher. Punisher versus Steve. I want to race R1 Kelly on Salah's bike. Kelly is absolutely no match for me in racing. No match whatsoever. He's on a notoriously fast motorcycle and he's still lost. Salah beat Mr. Goodnight. Damn. Oh. Nice one, sir. Oh, here's a nice one. match whatsoever.
gave him three bikes. I gave Mr. Tex Knight, Mr. Good Knight, I want Kelly a three bike hit and beat him on my BMW H3 4. <laughs> I gave him three bikes. <laughs> Woohoo! Only in America. We got a gorgeous BMW M5. That's the way for you. Here comes my max wrist moment again. basically way the same so we're going to see who's going to who's going to win here I really like the uh, skyline of Pittsburgh compared to Cleveland yeah beautiful yeah beautiful I don't know about compared to Cleveland Okay. No. We have that beat. Yeah, I think it's very clean down here. And it definitely has a more modern feel to it. Okay. What did Stunner say? He said Steve can't see at night. What? Steve can't see at night. I think everyone's really enjoying one of the last days of, uh, of nice weather here in the Pittsburgh area. I know we sure are. Uh, today today do we, will be a beautiful ride. Do we have Steve? Did we lose Steve on the intercom? No. Um, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going through a tunnel. Oh, tunnel! Yeah. I'm going to try to wheelie through the tunnel. bike was super loud. It actually hurt my ass. So now we're in West Virginia, y'all. Yeah. Good old West Virginia. 35 mile an hour curve coming up. Yeah, now we're back in Ohio from West wow. Virginia and we're approaching a 35 mile an hour curve. I guess this is similar to Dead Man's Corner in Cleveland. Yeah, it resembles Dead Man's Corner here. But it's manageable. Ooh, I don't know, this is a pretty deep one, which way? So we were just over here waiting for guys to pull up and one of the guys we were riding with decided to take off and that caused all of the cops to come out here and just go crazy. There was no reason, yeah, there was no reason for that. We were just waiting for another guy to pull up and now we're all detained for who knows how long and had to produce licenses and stuff. Thank you guys. Yep. Oh, some cool cops. That guy actually rides. VTX 1800. He loves the channel. There's no reason for that guy to pull off on him. He wasn't even going to write him a ticket or anything. Just busting his balls because his plate. Uh, Steve is at Dairy Queen. 
Okay, we're gonna hook up with Steve now. We just got detained for about an hour. He ran everybody's license. And of course, all of the Cleveland Fast Boys and my associates are good to go. N nobody has any warrants or expired licenses or anything like that. So truly, there's really no reason to uh, misbehave and not follow orders from law enforcement. <laughs> cool. Hey, think about this. Yeah, you can get a picture, man. Cool. You guys want a picture? <laughs> hey, if you give him the phone, he'll take it. All three of us. All four of us. Thank you. Cool, guys. Another one took off? Hey, he said somebody else just took off. Oh, these guys are crazy. They're... Yes, yes. Yeah. And they don't want to they don't want to have friendly conversation. <laughs> no. Cool. Thank you, man. We'll see you later. How far would you say we are away from the freeway? I have no idea. Huh. I have absolutely no idea. If you like this video with all the craziness, go ahead and hit the like button. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button that's flashing on the very bottom right hand side. New videos uploaded every single week. Mustang Dame on the fastest bike on earth. Yes, beautiful bike. Stay tuned for more videos. And as always, thanks for viewing. Did he say anything about you not having a plate? <laughs> this guy has the luck of the Irish. He's black Irish. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for viewing.